Hello, various film possible creations, and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can upgrade animations of models from a chip package. To do improvements, we will use packages like Tail Animator and Spine Animator. Without these improvements, animals would be animated like that, but we will make them move like that. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I will set up few models from Animal Pack Deluxe made by Jumpek. It's cheap package, but provides many useful assets. And as always, we will use Grand Fitter movement for the movement of the animals. So it's just basic controller for character moving on uneven terrain. You don't need this fitting rotation to make my packages to work. It's just my simple approach for the tutorial. Camera is controlled by third-person script from my other package FBasic Assets. So let's drag our first animal to the scene. It will be Wolf. I drag model to Grand Fitter Movement object, reset its position, and do small animator change. Grand Fitter Movement is changing animations through code, and it uses animation clips like idle, walk, and run. So we set them to be free, and I will also add animation speed parameter. It's another thing controlled by Grand Fitter script. Thanks to that, when creature will decelerate, animation speed of move animation will also decelerate. But we must apply this parameter as animation speed multiplayer for movement animation clips. Of course, your setup can be different. It's just my basic approach for the tutorial. And now we have movement like this. So I will just tweak movement speed for the creature so it's not sliding. Okay, I think that will be close enough for this tutorial. First, let's set up spine motion. So let's add spine animator to the main object. Spine animator automatically found right bones to create spine chain. If in your case with your model, component did not found the right bones, you can check my other tutorials when I describe more what should you put here. But in this case, I will use further neck bone as last bone in a chain. Let's see how it works now. And it seems that something is wrong. It looks like rotation pivot should be in other place. So we can adjust it by using main pivot offset and push it to be in a position of front legs or near to the leading bone. And now it looks much better. Although we have to tweak some parameters to make the model behave more like wolf, not like snake. So we will limit max rotation angle between the segments. This probably will be enough. And we should activate straightening. So spine will try smoothly go to the straight pose only when animal is moving. Also we can use slittery parameter and lower it down to make motion less snaky. Also we can go to the spine bones tab and remove some bones in between to limit bending even more. It can help reduce snaky effect when animal have too much spine bones. When we have fewer bones, we should adjust limiting to not limit bones angles too quick. I will move a bit more to check if we can do something more. I think the settings are just ok. I will copy settings of spine animator in play mode. And paste them in edit mode so everything is saved. Now let's set up tail. There is first tail bone. So we add tail animator blending to it tail animator blending because it's animated model. Hit connect with animator, so tail animator will follow keyframed animation. I will disable waving, I want only keyframed animation. And now it moves like that. Shape of the tail makes tail animator effect be a bit subtle. I will enable root to parent to amplify effect of tail animator. I will tweak it a bit more for my likes. I think the settings are okay. 
I will copy settings in play mode, then paste in edit mode. And our wolf is ready. Now let's set up a bear. Let's drag it on the scene, put inside the ground fitter movement object, reset position, and add spine animator. Let's hit get because right bones were found automatically. I will use further bone for the motion. Let's refresh it. And let's see what we've got. Ah, I forgot to set up animator. So I will do it quickly. Also, I will again offset pivot for the leading bone position. And let's see how now it looks. Yeah, now we can tweak spine animator. So let's do basic limitation setup for quadruped. I will adjust a bit ground fitter to make bear feel more heavy. But I think it have a bit snake motion. So we can remove some bones from the spine chain to make it less dense. Okay, I think our bear is done. I will copy settings in play mode, then paste in edit mode again. And we can go further. Our next animal will be deer. So I do everything again, put on scene, inside the ground fitter movement object, reset position, rotations, setup animator, adjust movement speed of ground fitter, Add spine animator, set up basic limitation, pivot offset, and we can move. But it have a lot of snake motion, so we can smooth it out by removing selective bones from the spine chain, and by lowering slittery parameter. Then again we should adjust limitations. We could also add look animator to the model. So I will just add this component. Set up target to look at. I will add some backbones to make motion more rich. So look animator automatically found head bone. But it works wrong. Why? Because bone named head is really a jaw. So we adjust it by placing here neck bone which is true head bone for this model. And it works right. But deer in animations is looking to the sides. We will limit this animation. So target point of look for deer will be our object. Okay, I think deer is done. And we can move to the last animal. And it will be wild boar. Again, I doing all what we've done before. So I put model inside ground fitter movement, reset position rotation, edit animator, add spine animator with our previous setup. But I see the animation now is a bit dull in comparison to the original keyframe animation. And it seems that this model is using position keyframes to help animation look better. So when we untoggle positions not animated, it's animated correctly. In most cases animation are not using position keyframes. Then if positions not animated would be untoggled, it would create some glitches. That's why it's toggled by default. So it's good to check this option every time you setting up spine animator. You can miss important detail on the animation. So I will also make bore spine less slittery. 
and it's done. So you can use spine animator or tail animator on any models. You can give them more life, make them move much more realistically without any effort. So our animals, instead of moving like that, they become moving like that. And that's all. I hope you liked it. Hit like if you enjoyed or learned something. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell for notifications about new videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.